There are a whole range of radios on the market right now, but of late, manufacturers have been bringing out ones that are Wi-Fi enabled, meaning that they can access thousands of internet radio stations from right around the globe. So if it's Bombay Bangra or Mississippi Motown you're after, then these are the radios for you. Our first test is all about ease of use. You want to be sure that when you've shelled out extra cash on an internet-connected radio, that you're not going to be left in the lurch when you want to connect it to your wireless router, having to ring one of these pound-a-minute tech support lines. One by one, I plugged in the radios, booted them up and attempted to connect to our wireless router. With the stopwatch ticking, it was a race against time. No, it's taken ages. Those which successfully threw up a station list within two minutes made the grade and moved on to the next stage. Right, the ones that beat the clock are here and still in the game. Now, we know that they're easy to set up, but the question is, do they deserve a position on your poof in your newly decorated posh city pad? It's time to test the aesthetic values of our final bunch. To win through, they needed to look and feel well designed. I don't know what's taste here. This recipe for steamed fillet of lemon sole with cider mustard and apple cream. Well, this Logitech. Mmm. Having tried and tested the remaining radios in every nook and cranny of the apartment, Are you okay? it was becoming clear which my favourite looking five were. So here we are, the final five. But as always, it's the last test that is the most important. After all, what use is a radio, internet or otherwise if when you turn it on and your music comes out, it doesn't massage those wrinkly appendages we call ears with beautiful sound. To fully appreciate the audio quality of our remaining five, I donned a blindfold and lay back to soak up the sounds. So in order of sound quality, here are the Gadget Show's top five internet radios. At number five, the Tangent Quattro. This is one of the smaller devices, I'm sure of it. There's no physicality to the sound, it's not filling the room, there's no effervescence. It, it's a stunted sound, a muffled sound, uh, that's coming very directly from my bedside table. And number four, the Pure Evoke Flow. not a big sound this it's not getting me up and jumping although it is a mellow sound and from a quality point of view it's, it's very good it's just not expansive enough and number three the Roberts WM201 it's a good sound it's a heavy sound a little bit crackly though it's got a little bit of gravel to it so a slight distortion at number two, the Logitech Squeezebox Boom. That is fantastic. I never realised that an internet radio device could sound like FM radio, uh, with that lovely resonant bass to the voice that you get when people are talking on the radio, but also with the fuller sounds, the fuller frequencies. And at number one, the Ministry of Sound Media Streaming Internet Radio. Oh, that was fantastic! A really good, clean sound, a nice bit of volume, a little element of bass to it, nice and clear, a warm sound, a broad sound that filled the room with funk. I like. 